Hello everyone, welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. Last time I think we tackled some of Infinite Exit and then came into Infinite Enter. And beneath this I can see that there is this 8 of 10 and then the level set below this doesn't have a block at the bottom. So it may be the last set of levels, I'm not sure. But we're going to jump in, try and do two more of these to unlock that. But we've got lots of funky stuff coming first. I have no idea how I'm going to get that blue. Actually, that probably wants to be there if we're going to come in from the right hand side. This can move out of there to become available to us. That does let us out of there. Then... How am I getting this out of the right hand side? Because now I need it to be on the top end of the map. But I can't push it from the right hand side, right? Because if I do, I end up in Epsilon. And if I come out of here, I'm on this side. I can move this up and down. And come in through the top. If I push this out now, yeah, that'll do it. That goes there. I go in through the top. That goes to there. We come out. Very nice. Epsilon in the corner. We need to somehow force ourselves into Epsilon. So, we get these two out of here, and these two, and then I'm kind of just presuming that if we set this up right, this goes on the end. good there's that last zone open let's tackle this last standard puzzle here first that's an infinite loop this is an epsilon that we can only enter from the side Ugh. do not like that so you come out of there but then I do don't. And if I try and come out of the top, I don't do that either. Okay. Um. That's very interesting. Oh. Hello. That's helpful. So we need to get into Epsilon to get the blue peg out of it. And then I need to get this out of here. How do we do it the first time? I push this through. Okay, bunch of bonuses, gonna skip over them for a hot second and see what this is. Multi-infinite. Is this where we need to stand to finish the game once it's unlocked? Because that's what it looks like. But there are only two bonus levels here, the rest are the core puzzles, so let's see what's happening. We are here, we come out of there. Push that up. We get rid of infinite. We finish. So far, so inoffensive. There's double infinite. If I put infinite in here, nothing happens. If I put that there and push this out of it, I come out of two infinites into one infinite. That comes out of there. 
That is not doing quite what I might have expected. I can't push that into there. I can push that out of that, though. Right, that's the most basic one that I understand. Should we check what 7 looks like here? That's hilarious. 7 doesn't give you any help, it just takes away the border. Makes it stop looking infinite. That comes out of here. That goes into there. Sure. What if I do this? Interesting. But I need... Okay, that's a great start. And what if I put this out of there? I get the last of what I need. Okay. Three infinites. I can get this out simply enough. I'm guessing I need to go to one infinite first. But that's now stuck, right? So, do I need to put that there and then step out of it? Yes. And then I need to put that on the right-hand side, because I need to come out of the right-hand side of double infinite. Then I just need to get everything back. And I stand here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I just line this up like a chorus line? That goes to infinity. My answer is no. Although... Why do they all need to be there when I can just start with one here, right? That makes more sense. Do I dare look at the bonus puzzles? Triple infinite, double infinite, single infinite, and an extra grid of stuff. Okay, well, we put everything inside of the extra grid because that way we can have multiple things existing on the same cell at this scale then uh, okay yes that's definitely what I wanted to happen he lied um, I feel like I should be okay with this Famous last words. I need... Triple infinity first. Needs to go here. Then... Out of... Triple infinity... Will come double infinity, right? Then out of double infinity I need single infinity so to do that I could have just actually can I un undo this um, I need that on the right hand side of all of these so that then double infinity can go up that can come... No? Okay. Um, do I need them all flat on the right-hand side? 
that what I need? Can I do that? That's double infinite. And where do I put single infinite? Because I can't push single infinite out of the right hand side. Not sure. Get back to the core stuff. Oh god. <laughs> so we had triple infinites, now we have triple epsilons. So I can come into here, but I can't move around once I'm there. I push this into here and I come into this, nothing happens. I push this into here, I end up in an epsilon. Then I evacuate this and I push that into here. I end up in double epsilon. Then I get both of those out. Do I need the yellow one? What is happening? I end up here. But I want to pull that out of there. That is going into double epsilon right now. I just had to block off one of the extra cells, I guess. Oh, jeez. In here, I can move this, but do little else. In here, I have a yellow brick and little else. In here, I need to move that brick. So, this is going to go... Excuse you. This is going to go to the center. So that when I come through this, that can go to the center. Don't know about the yellow one. So when I come through this, that goes to there. Okay, we need to go back to the second one. And put that there. Because then I can come... No, I need to do... Okay, hold on, hold on. That needs to go there. And I need to evacuate this yellow one first from going into single epsilon. Then I have it as a tool. Then I prepare double to go into triple. So the yellow one has already escaped, so I can put that down. Oh, God. If I put it down, I can't go into it anymore. So... Do I have to do that bit first? So that goes to there. That goes to there. I come into here. Take this out. Put it in there. How do I get into single epsilon at the end? That gets me to triple. But then if I break double, does that get me back into single? No, that gets me back to here. So how do I get out to the left-hand side one? Currently that's taking me to double epsilon. And if I put that in the place, it takes me to triple. Whoa, oh, 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 what if? Okay, hold on. I put that there. Put that there. Evacuate this. Put that there. I can't push I can't push this into here. What was I thinking? Oh, 
Ah. Can I still function with one once two is set up? Or will it send me back to one? It sends me back to one. That's a brain melter, isn't it? So... That sends me back there. I break this. You send me back there. How do I get back into that first room? Is the big question. There must be some way to move the yellow piece that I'm missing. I can get it out just fine. And I can break this, which would allow me to go back through to one. Once I put it there, I can't come back in. But once this is under for two. I can't come through two again. And I need three to get through there. Well, I need that away from the wall then. Come on. So that has to go there. Which puts me in here. Which puts me in here. From here, I can break this. Which that now lets me in there. And now that can go into there. And I can come into here. Okay. Should have gotten that one a little bit faster, I think. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? Alright, I can enter that happily. I can pick up two of these. Nothing happens. I need to be in the green one. Or I need to get the green one out. How am I doing anything with the additional teleportations here? After I do this twice, that just makes a loop. If I do it once. I can't alternate, can I? I really am not sure what is occurring here. Three... I, d I can't make any kind of special recursion happen here at all. And that is concerning. Nothing happens. There's only so many ways I can put stuff in myself. Don't tutter. I hear you at the back. Green, yellow, pink. Green, pink, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. Pink, green, yellow. But there's only so many combinations of all these things, right? But I'm so... 
not understanding what is happening here. I'm very lost. Seven does not begin to help me. What is... Oh, I3, I4, I6, I7. This one is like the least success I've ever had with a puzzle. Because obviously this looks so much easier. <laughs> what am I looking at? I come out of here, I come out of there. I can understand that much. Do I need to do like... 8 into 9, 8 into 7 into 6 into 5. Are we just going to push a big long line of these into one another? Probably. It's either going to be forwards by number or backwards by number, right? There's enough room to do them all vertically, I think. But I've no idea if this is remotely close to what I should be attempting to achieve, but we're doing it anyway. Our survey says no. Oh, what about this? Interesting. That puts me here. That was a wild one. And then... Patrick, what are you doing? Patrick? We're just going on a tour. Well, we've come a long way, haven't we? Achievement unlocked. Bottom of the rabbit hole. Patrick's power box. A game by Patrick Trainer, with sound design and music by Priscilla Snow. Localization Moji. Playtesting and Wisdom, RV, Taikari, Brian Dizon, Carrie Z, Corey Hardet, Dario Zubovic, Dana Gallant, Daniel Lyson, Devness, Drocken, Eddie Afour, Eilert Grant, Ethan Clark. Guthrum S. Towes, Ian McCartley, Isaac Close, Jack Clute, Jake Eakle, James K., Joel Fox, Le Lee Slow, Main Guy, Marcel. Ah, oh, you lost me. I'm sorry. Special thanks to many wonderful people, I'm sure. Thanks to Juna for making Soko Soko, which this game is heavily inspired by. Video game development, indie creative San Diego. Thinky Puzzle Games Community, Development Stream Followers, Independent Game Festival, Indiecade, Steven Sausage Roll, The Witness, Recursed. Thanks to everyone over the years who supported and encouraged me, made with Unity by Unity Technologies. The fonts, the resources. Well, that was a hoot. I had a great time with that. 
There's obviously many puzzles back there that I have not yet solved. I've no idea how many other achievements there might be. Assuming it's going to kick us out to the main menu now. Or, yeah, back to... Yeah, what is this? Congratulations on reaching the end. Thank you for playing. What is this? This is the sea of levels that I have completed. If I just allow it to come to a natural stop. A screensaver, I guess. That takes us back to intro. Appendix. Gallery. Here are a few images from the game's development. The initial sketch of the game idea. It would be a stealth puzzle where you sneak inside of walls and blocks. A randomly generated test level. At this point, you could transfer between boxes, but not enter or exit them. A test level of box containing itself, which was an idea adapted from the game Soko Soko. Notes from the math for enter and exit animations. One of many edge case testing levels, also a visualization of the structure of boxes. A sketch for the recursive boxes rotated 90 degrees. I decided not to implement the new programming complexity. A screenshot from Devon. A bug where drawing was not correctly clamped when a box entered itself, causing lag. Another visual bug. What a puzzle looks like in the editor. A generated image of every box in the game. The puzzle in the this area used graphics from early in development. Right. And then what are these? Oh. Puzzles from early in development. I see. Okay, wait. Hold on. We can go around... Oh, how am I going to get myself in the end, though? I can't get into the end of the level. I have no idea how you push stuff across whilst not debilitating your ability to be where you need to be. Well, there's still plenty more to learn about. This is challenge. Oh, God. And this. Intro, enter, empty, eat. That's like a fast travel thing. Then does this take me out into that hob area? Yeah. All right. That is plenty enough for today. I will be playing more of this. Maybe not immediately, but I will definitely be revisiting some of these other areas and the puzzles I didn't get previously. But I need to get back to The Witness and there's like a hundred other awesome puzzle games that I want to play. But I've had a wonderful time with this. There'll be a little more to come, I'm sure. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have recommendations for puzzle games for me, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.